As you can see, it's more active. The moment you start, it goes off quickly. I'm going to use IM2. I'm going to use my IM to do the programming. But first, I have to scan and see if everything is okay. So this is another ECU. You can see the view number is different from the original one. So I'll do auto diagnosis and see the fault code in it. Then after that, I'll fix the new, uh, the use, the original one, and do and read the emo data. After reading the emo data, after reading the emo data, with that one, I'll be able to identify the actual issue or the actual fault in the system. So I think because it is seen more active so i'll erase all the fourth code then from there i'll use the im to do the programming so that with the im i can change the vin so this vin will change you can see it's 2012 this vehicle is 2011 so it will change the vin and everything then i'll know what to do so check the fourth code in the system and hey still evap still having evap stack close fun okay so what i'll do is with this evap fault let me redo the machine and do the ECU disable. So I will just, no, I don't need to erase it because even if I erase it, it will come back. So what I'll do is, now that I've erased it, everything is gone and there is no fault. So what I'll do is, I'll fix the new one, then read the emo data, then save the pin code and the CS number, then the VIN number, then I'll use it to write everything to this continue so i'll bring this machine back to scan it and you see that this vein number will change so i'll do that and it is even done erasing the code. so i'll do that now so i'll go to it and it is um everyone. let me do the scan to get the number so that i see the view number of the ecu on the this is everything is working it's not able to read the data I'll do it on bench. So if it's not able to run it, I'll do it on bench. No, the ignition is start. Then the you can see with this CCU, the check engine light doesn't come on. So let me do cancel do it again. So this is the original V number. And you can see the V number that ECU is different. So this number. Is, is is the correct VIN number that I want the VIN to decode. So if you can see, that number is 126. So I'll read the emo data, then I'll save the um, CS and PIN code for then. I'll use that to program the other so that the VIN number, so it does that. Uh, so I'm trying to see, it does that, but they do it on bench, but I'm trying it on and see if everything will be okay. So the VIN number was not able to decode. So now what I've is writing um, this. Then I'll go to ECU, OBD, then auto detect so that I can see if it will be able to, it will be able to detect the ECU, the type of ECU on this vehicle. The the EC is MED. So what I'll do is so I'll wait for it to the emo data and see if the information. It's like MED seventeen by seventeen. So I'll watch then after it is done I'll save the emo data. Then from there I know I can do it on vehicle. A minute or two the emo data is read successful so you can see the VIN number the pin code the CS number and the other information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this VIN number into it so now i'll see i'll screenshot it so that i can use it so there is a cam line vehicle so what i'll do is i'll click on ok and replace change the other one so i'll do so with this one, um, I'll not select the MED, I'll do auto scan and you see anytime I turn on the key and wait for a while, you can see immobilizer inactive, uh, immobilizer active. So I'll do auto scan also on this and see 
So what they've written on the board is ME17.5.6, uh, ME but when you do auto scan, it gets it at MED17. So I'll do that and read the emo data on this one also. Then after reading the emo data, let's see how long it will take for me to read the emo data. So now it's trying to go to another um, function which I'll select the OBD to see if I'll be able to read it. So it also see this as MED17. So I'll just, all I need is it should be able to read the emo data. So now I'll wait for this one also to read the emo data. It's now at 13. Let's see if it will take also less than two minutes for you to read the emo data. Then from there I'll know what to do. So if I'm able to read the emo data from here, then that means I'll go to change ECU then do that function. This I'm doing it on the vehicle, so I'm hoping the immobilizer active goes off. So you can see it's now 14, so let me wait for a while and see if it will go. Okay, so almost two minutes it is also done. You can see it is 15, it's 1950, that means it is almost done. So what I'll do next is I'll save this also as screenshot. Then, so now that I've taken screenshot, I'll click on OK and change, check emo data. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is the emo data because I've, I've read it already. So now, what I'll do is I'll go back and move from here. Then I have to go to um, emo adaptation. So, yes. So this, I think, is emo theory. So replace ECU. No, let me go back again. So replace ECU. That's what I'm doing now. So it's the non-original brand. Oh. No, I should have clicked no. Not supported. Um, let me go replace ECU. No. Okay. The pin code for the non-original. Okay. Go back. I have other function I can also do to do. This. Let me go to for ECU and replace minus two. Yes. F1. Auto read. At this point, it will just read the emo data, so I'll bring it back in the next two minutes. So it's requesting for ignition to be turned on, off and on, then turn back on. So check everything is okay. I'll just wait. It's now, it's now reading the emo data of the non original one. So when it comes back, I'll just go straight and input the emo data and everything. And if you don't have in with this, someone normally with this function, if you don't have internet it to not work, that's why the other one didn't work. So I didn't need to do F1, F2. I have to just go enter replace ECU. So with this one, we need the pin code and the so I have to enter it. I have to come back. I have to enter the pin code. This is the first one. So that's the non-original. I have to enter the pin code and everything. So let me do that and come back. So now I've entered um the non original i've entered the pin code and the C uh, cx code so i'll go to the next one and click f2 f2 is for the original so i'll enter the original one also and come back i've entered so i've entered the non or uh, the original pin code and the cnc so now i have the two so now what i'll do is i don't know why this one the zero zero is gone so let me do the zero zero again zero zero yeah, because I think it has zero zero in it. So now I've added the zero zero, so I'll click on enter and OK. So now uh, it is gone again. OK, don't worry. So now I have to click on replace. So I'm doing this on the vehicle itself, and you have to get internet too. Without internet, you can't work with it. So now I'll wait for it to request that maybe I'll add every number. So it's now attempting to do it. So I have to wait for the attempt, the number of attempt to finish. Then I'll see if it will ask me to add every number to it. So I've entered the both codes, the CNC and the pin code, which was red. So I'll wait for it to finish. So it's telling me to turn the ignition and wait for five seconds. Then turn it back on within two seconds. So I turn it back on and click on OK for it to complete the process. Yeah, so replacement successful. Recorded um, emo data. So it has now recorded this for the used one. So I think the replacement is done successfully. So I think I shouldn't have any. If I have it, yeah, it's still there. So that means I have to use.
Now the used ECU is still fitted. Now it's reading the original VIN number of the vehicle. So I'll choose Europe. It's a Jetta. So, yeah. So now what I'll do is let me check from here. Or let me do the emo scan and see the actual issue. If I don't get anything right, I'll go back and go and redo the process again. So I'll wait for the initialization then. Know. What I'll do is after connecting it on the bench like this, um, I'll go to ECU and read the emo data on the ECU, then see if uh, I'll get the correct emo data. Let me do OBD. Let me do OBD. Read emo data and see if I'm coming on. Let me go back. Um, okay, it's reading the emo data. So after reading it, I'll see if the emo data that I got is correct. It's the same thing as the. So this is the user. You can see the label on it. So I'm reading the emo data to see if it is the same. If it's the same thing, I'll go and just place it on the car and see if it will start. If it starts, fine. If it doesn't start, uh, I'll do emo off. Because at this point, I've done everything possible. So if you check the emo data and the original one are the same. You can see it is a used ECU. So now everything, the pin code and everything has been changed successful. So what I'll do is I'll go and place it on the vehicle. Is this what I did on the vehicle? That's why it wasn't allowing me to do it again. So I think everything is successful. So I'll go and fix it on the car. If it's still giving me that same problem, then I'll do emo off. That's the only option I have. Having the correct emo data, still the vehicle could not start. So what I'm going to do is the vehicle could not start. Um, so I'm going to do the emo shutdown. But before that, I have to search for ECU. I know it is this. So go into it. Then read the flash and both the flash and the EEPROM. After reading the flash and the EEPROM, then now I'll be able to do the emo off. Then I'll go and put it on the vehicle to start. So now I'm connected, so I'll do backup first. So I'll back it up. Then after the backup, I'll do the, uh, the flash also. Then maybe I'll call it a fix. Try the vehicle and see if everything is okay. After we wrote only the EEPROM, we did the move off on the EEPROM and we wrote it and it is now starting. Now we have the original VIN on the use control board and now everything is okay and the vehicle is running. So yeah, everything is running perfect. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So we did the EEPROM, emo off on the EEPROM and we wrote it on the board and now the vehicle is running perfectly and there is no emo system fault. So if you can see there is no emo system for thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos